In recent news, the platform formerly known as Twitter, now called X, has come under fire for blocking links to a controversial newsletter involving J.D. Vance. The newsletter, written by journalist Ken Klippenstein, allegedly contains a hacked document that's believed to be research from Donald Trump's campaign on Vance, a vice presidential candidate. Not only has X blocked the sharing of this link, but they have also temporarily suspended Klippenstein's account, sparking conversations about free speech, privacy, and platform censorship. Klippenstein revealed that the document in question was shared with him by a source known only as Robert, who used an AOL email address. The document reportedly includes Wance's personal information, including his full name, addresses, and part of his social security number. X justified the suspension, citing its rules against sharing unredacted private personal information. However, the reasons for the complete blocking of links to Klippenstein's video remain unclear, leading many to speculate about the company's true motivations. This situation recalls a previous policy Twitter had on hacked materials, which banned links to such content. Under this policy, Twitter infamously blocked links to a New York Post story about Hunter Biden in 2020, a move that ignited widespread backlash. This forced Twitter to revise its policy, stating it would no longer block links to hacked material, an action that was praised by many, including Elon Musk. At the time, Musk criticized Twitter's decision to suspend the New York Post's account, calling it incredibly inappropriate. Now, under Musk's ownership, X appears to be re-engaging in similar behavior. Attempts by multiple staffers at The Verge to share the link to Klippenstein's newsletter were met with error messages stating the link had been identified as potentially harmful. The platform has provided no further explanation for the block. This incident highlights the ongoing tension between platform governance, free speech, and user privacy. While it's critical for platforms like X to prevent the spread of personal information, questions remain about whether these actions are also suppressing journalism and limiting the free flow of information. Klippenstein's suspension and the blocking of his video have reopened the debate about how platforms balance these competing interests. Stay subscribed for more videos.